Into Rising. I am joined this morning by Darren Gleaton, and he has an impressive effort to tell us about today. He is a children's book author. Tell us all about what we're looking at today. Okay, so what we're looking at is um, three of my children's books. Um, I have the first one that I created is called You Can Be Fly. Um, my second one is called Let's Stick Together, and my third wow. children's book is called um, Just Be Yourself. Okay, awesome. And tell me, what is the main message you want to get across with these books? Okay, so the main message that I want to get across with these books, these books are actually children's books, but they have a message for everyone. Um, you can be fly, let's stick together, and just be yourself. These are three nuggets that um, I actually want to leave to the generation that's coming up uh, after us, and just to mm -hmm. let them know um, self-confidence, you know, you can be fly. Um, let's stick together as a unit, you know, friends, family, you know, um, just let's stick together mm -hmm. and just be yourself in a world where a lot of people wants to be everything else. I think it's more important to just be yourself. So mm -hmm. um, these are some of the nuggets that I'm trying to let the youth know that you don't have to be anything else. You could just be yourself. That is awesome. And you gave us these bracelets, just be yourself, which are so fun. You are a dad yourself. You told me you have two kids. So what inspired you to start writing these books? So um, my oldest son, he's actually 11 and um, he's an artist and he loved art. He oh. loved to draw. Um, and I just wanted to show him that anything is possible. If I can do it, you can do it. Um, from a, a, a vision to reality mm -hmm. um, and making visions into reality or dreams into reality. So um, this was just a vision, just like he has visions and I was just uh, drawing and writing and that's the same thing he does. So just trying to motivate him and show him as well as other young adults and children mm -hmm. that, um, you know, turn your dreams into reality and it's possible. Very cool. I bet he really looks up to you and you seem like you'd be an awesome dad because you really put your money where your mouth is. I mean, you're out here doing it in the community. You do some readings, right? So can you tell us about that a little bit? Okay, so the readings, I love to give back to um, the community. <laughs> um, this year so far, I've done 10 readings at uh, three different schools uh, and um, some pre-K schools, uh, different like five classes each. And it is actually amazing to just go and read to, you know, children and when they see you and see somebody else or, or a younger mm -hmm. person that's a uh, author and they're like gravitate to you and it's, it makes you feel so <laughs> so important and so yeah. special um, and the, the children are the future so uh, that's the one thing that I love to give back to uh, I actually had a reading at the archive I did a mm -hmm. book signing at Park Road bookstore so um, just to going around and just showing kids that you know authors, illustrators, and what's the difference between it and that yeah. you can get a message out in, in different ways. And reading is fundamental, reading is fun, so what not a better way to put it into books. That is so awesome. Uh, we did run out of time, Darren, but I do want to mention real quick that he makes his own bow ties and you also make these for people who are trying to get jobs and need to dress up a little bit. So that is awesome. We're going to put all that information on our website so that people can learn more about you. And I hope to catch up with you for another story and even learn more, maybe come to a book reading of yours. Thank you so much for joining us here Thank today. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate of it. Of course. <laughs> Thanks for all you do for our community.